Thank you so much for joining me this week on the Sunday sessions. As promised, I'm sharing with you my evening skincare routine. So the first thing that I do is double cleanse and I did a video on double cleansing a couple of weeks ago so you can have a look there if you want to know more about double cleansing. But the first step is using an oil or a balm cleanser and I've just started using a new one and I'm really loving it. It's a balm cleanser by Wildsmith Skin. It's the Active Repair Nourishing Cleansing Balm. It's got rosehip oil and meadow foam seed oil and it is just the most divine consistency. Look at that. Whoa. It's just lush. And it comes with this dinky little spoon so you don't have to put your fingers in. You can just scoop out the necessary amount. Very pleasing. Who knew that a little spoon would bring so much joy? Anyway, so that goes on first and that melts off all my makeup and then once I've rinsed that off, I'll use a gel cleanser and the one that I'm using at the moment is the Drunk Elephant Jelly Cleanser. And once I've got a good foam going with that, I will then massage with my Foreo and these little bristles are brilliant. They just kind of stimulate the skin and they exfoliate the skin and it's just a lovely little device. So those two together. Then once I have gently patted my face dry, I will then use some hyaluronic acid and some glycolic. The ones that I'm using at the moment are the Drunk Elephant B Hydra and the Drunk Elephant TLC Framboose Glycolic. I mix a pump of each together in the palm of my hand and apply that all over the face. Next up, I will put on my eye cream and the one I'm currently using is the Suzanne Kaufman eye cream from her Line A range. Suzanne Kaufman products just across the board are brilliant. They're all natural, they perform brilliantly and her Line A range is specifically targeted to anti-aging. So that's why I'm using this eye cream because I've got aging eyes. The next thing I put on if I feel like my skin is a bit lacklustre and dull is the Advanced Night Repair Intense Reset Concentrate by Estee Lauder. This is a bit like the Advanced Night Repair, but on steroids. So you don't need to use this every night. It's just like if you need to give your skin a bit of TLC. So it's a very good travel companion. So if you're flying and your skin is dehydrated and dull, then this is a really lovely product to apply. So I'll just sometimes do that if I feel like my skin's in need of it. The next thing that I'll apply is retinol. The one that I'm using and really enjoying is the Medicate Retinol 6TR Advanced 0.6%. Now that's quite strong, but I'm 41, so I need a good, strong retinol. I was using it every other night, and then I increased it every night, and I haven't had any dryness or reactions at all, so I would highly recommend this. I think perhaps because it's in an oil formula, that's why it's not causing the irritation or dryness, but um, I'm no expert. I just know that this is working really well for me, and I'm able to use it every night, so. I recommend that. The next thing that I will put on is some moisturiser and I've been using for a while now the Augustinus Bader Rich Cream. This is amazing and I know that it's expensive. It's a decision to invest in a cream like this but it works and the research behind it is amazing. So I think if you are looking for a moisturiser that's really going to do the work, I would seriously investigate the Augustinus Bader creams. There is the rich cream and then there's the cream. So if you don't like something as heavy as a rich cream, then go for the cream. It's a much lighter consistency, but just as powerful. So yeah, I'm a big fan and I'm under no illusion that that's a lot of money to part with, but do the research, find out more and, um, yeah, it works. I will do a video on maybe three of the best moisturizers because there are other ones that I really like and that are really effective. So if this is way out of your budget, then I will do a video specifically for moisturizers and alternatives to this one. Finally, I will apply an oil. Now, I know my skin probably doesn't need any more products. It's sufficiently hydrated. However, I have a weakness for oils, so I will usually put one on at the end of my routine. The one that I'm using at the moment is the Wildsmith Skin Active Global Super Oil. It's got Mongogo oil and prickly pear oil plus 15 globally sourced bioactive plant oils. I mean, that 
I just want to get on my skin right now. I have such a weakness for oils. I just love how they feel and how they smell and I just feel like it's such a nice thing to do at the end of your evening routine. It's just special, special time. So yeah, that's the one I love. I love loads though. You probably have gathered that through watching these videos. It's like my guilty pleasure. So that's it. Those are all the products that I'm currently using in my evening skincare routine. I hope that it was interesting and informative. And if you have any questions, of course, let me know. I will link to all of the products in the caption. And I'll be back next week with another Sunday session. See you then.